Hey everyone, it's Big Scribe here, and I'm back with another book review. Yeah, I know, this one was pretty quick. I actually read this book in like three days, and it was amazing. Um, this is another a book review for A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. This is a retelling of a, a, a Thousand and One Arabian Nights, and it is amazing. I absolutely loved this book. It, at first, I was a little iffy about it. It's really not my style of writing, but I absolutely loved it, and it was very, very well written, very artistic, very well planned out. The characters, even though you don't really know ex all the names of any of them except for like one, two people in the whole book actually, or three people, you actually know their names. All the rest are known by titles like mother and father and sister and stuff like that. But the characters are still so well developed and it plays out like a movie in your head. And it's such an amazing tale and it has that very Middle Eastern mystical kind of feel to it. And it's written exactly like you would imagine a, a story like this to be written. It's written in the same style as the Thousand and One Arabian Nights. But it's given like an expansion on the, on the original story and it kind of includes more to it. It's about this girl who take who, well, I gotta give you some background first. There's this guy named Lo Melkeen, I might be um, mispronouncing that a little bit, but basically this guy is possessed by this demonic entity that's kind of like a djinn or something like that. And he goes around to each village, each town and whatnot, and he takes a bride, takes her to his cat to his uh, Kazar or whatever it's called, his uh, his his palace, and he marries her, and then he kills her, and he feeds off of her life force. Well, he keeps doing this, and the people just offer up their their daughters to him. This one girl knows that he's coming to his to her village next, and that she's go that he's going to take her sister because her sister is the prettiest girl in the village. So she takes her sister's place. She offers up herself and makes herself up really beautiful and gets his attention. But when she gets there, she doesn't die. She keeps living every day. She wakes up again, and she starts to realize that there might be this power to her that she was unaware of. And it's amazing the way it plays out and how she gets this power, where this power comes from. And it's really a, a story about the fight between good and evil. And like, there's so many different layers to the story and it will really surprise you. It is a very, very awesome book. And it's very short. It's only 325 pages. But let me, let me just look at that cover for one. I mean, that cover is what drew me to the book. I saw the cover and I fell in love with it. It is so beautiful. And it actually has writing in the little thing around here. It says she will stitch her own secrets. Um, filled with hopes and dreams. Uh, something fire in my sister, lady bless, so calf, his eyes uncovered. That's one of the characters. This is so amazing. Like, th there's so much detail to this, to this beautiful cover. But then, but then, I mean, first of all, the orange on the inside is beautiful too. I like that. But then you take off the book jacket, and this is my favorite part. It's the desert with the stars up above it. That's the that's the book when it's naked. How beautiful is that? That is the most beautiful book. This is such a gorgeous book, and this is actually part of the book. the The stars over the night de over, over the desert at night is actually part of the book towards the end, and you'll you'll read about that. So that actually comes into play in the book. And it's, it's such a well-written book. I enjoyed it. I didn't think I would, but I did. I'm not going to say it's on my top ten. There are some grammatical errors, and there is some 
there's the fact that it's just not my typical reading, reading that I like. I don't normally read this kind of writing style. But, I, I mean, all in all, I give it a good 3.5, 4 stars. So, if you want a good read, pick up A Thousand Nights by E.K. Johnston. It's really good. You will not regret it. Hope you guys enjoy this video. God bless you.